Identity theft is big news, something we all have to take seriously. And it's a big part of any network administrator's job description. Protect us from harm, secure us from intrusion, keep our confidential data confidential, and keep commercial information away from prying eyes. Any network computer is potentially vulnerable. And anyone managing a corporate or commercial network needs to know their weak points so they can harden them. Prevention is better than the cure in every way we can think of. Information security is no different. Sorry, simply won't do. There is nothing worse than firefighting, stopping data leaks, cutting off hacks, removing the tools of their trade. Administrators hate it, IT managers even more, which is why getting there first is key to a happy network and happy management. We all know networks are vulnerable but we don't all know where and how. That's where a vulnerability assessment comes in. It's a comprehensive check of physical weaknesses in computers and networks as well as work practices and procedures. It identifies potential risks and threats and any exposure and develops strategies for dealing with them. We have all seen the headlines of high profile hacks involving the loss of sensitive or commercial data, account numbers, email addresses and personal identifiable information. That's just the tip of the iceberg, the ones that make the news. These things happen every day, everywhere. This is why you need to look at your network from the outside. See it as an attacker would see it. Learn its strengths, learn its weaknesses, then plug the gaps. Your infrastructure may be secure, your servers locked down, firewalls on tight, policies written, acceptable use outlined. But what about attached devices, printers, scanners, fax machines? Default configurations are your enemy. They are adorned to your network, a vulnerability often overlooked. This is exactly the sort of thing a vulnerability assessment would highlight in seconds. Any network that has users isn't as secure as we would like. Default passwords, open shares, unauthorized downloads, malware, trojans, third-party applications, and open ports. These are just some of the challenges that a network administrator must face. Protecting your network is your job. The buck stops with you. So why perform a vulnerability assessment? To protect your network from attack. To learn its strengths and weaknesses. To protect your commercial information from theft. To comply with HIPAA, GLBA, PCI data security standards and more. To stop you having to say sorry to the board, to your shareholders and to your customers.